Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Abigail, I'm a growth engineer with Huli Labs, and today I'm going to be showing you our new cards feature. Our first release of cards is designed for knowledge management. This means that any kind of knowledge or information that you need to manage in your workspace can be managed with cards. For this video, I'm going to be using cards to set up a basic content management system. We're gonna create some campaigns, some content items like social media posts and YouTube videos, and we're gonna see how everything is linked together and structured within the cards system. Cards is going to be the foundation for so many other features that we're currently building for Huli. This is going to include processes, which are going to be built on top of cards. Basically, you can take all of this knowledge and information that you're managing with cards and build processes from that. You can build out processes to manage any kind of workflow in Huli, and this is going to be built on top of cards. So to get you started, we're going to use cards to build a knowledge management system, and in a future video, you'll see how processes come into play. Let's dive in. The first thing I'm going to do is set up the types and tags that we're going to need to create the cards. So you can think of types as kind of like a blueprint for the cards that you're going to create so that every time we create a card from that type, it'll have the same information available. So over here, I have my guide. Um, these are all of the types that I've planned out and all of the attributes that they'll have. So we're going to create campaign content item campaign strategy, which is derived from document blog post, which is also derived from document and YouTube thumbnail, which is derived from file. So we're gonna get started with campaign. The first thing I'm gonna do is create a new type. So over here in settings, you can see we have these two system default types, file and document. But for campaign, I'm gonna create something completely new. So I'll click this plus button here, and I'm gonna create a new type. So now you can see it's appeared here in types, and we're gonna do this for all of the types that we need to create. The next thing I'm going to do is start adding properties to the type. So properties are just things that we want to know about campaigns. And I have them listed here, so let's go ahead and build these out. First, I'm going to add a description for the campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and click text. I'll call it description and click create. And you can see it adds it here and I can see it's text. Next, I'm going to add the target start date here. So I'm going to click date over here. I could choose to add a time as well, but I'm going to leave it just as the date. Uh, next I have duration. So for duration, this could be um, either a number or a text field. So I'm going to leave it as text so that we'll see when we create a card, I can just fill it out as like three weeks or, you know, five days or whatever the case may be. So here we're going to set up an enum. So an enum is just a word for multiple options that you can select from. Uh, and these will appear on a drop down menu on the card. So I'm going to choose either multi select or select. So I'm going to write in here platform and then I'm actually going to create a new um, a new enum. So I'm going to choose select here. We'll talk about reference later. I'll choose select and I'll go in here and click the plus button create enum. And here I'm going to add the same title platforms. It doesn't have to match, but it's a little bit easier to understand if it does. And then I'm going to add in the different platforms that we're using x linkedin um we'll go youtube i'm going to choose this from the list here platforms um and i'll actually make this plural since we're selecting more than one and click create so let's move on to content item and i will breeze through this one since we've already done one example so i want to um, add in who the creator is of this content item so i'm going to choose reference here and then go down to person here click create Next is campaign strategy. So instead of creating a new type here, I'm actually gonna go to document because this is going to be um, a type that's derived from document. So document is a type itself. This is created by the system. I'm actually gonna go down to here where it says types and I'm gonna click the plus button over here. And this is going to create a new type that is derived from document. So if I add a property to document here, let's just say I wanna add a description to every document that I create. So I have this property on the document type. Now when I go to campaign strategy, I can click in here and you can see that this description property from document is automatically also added to campaign strategy. And that's because campaign strategy is derived from document. Next is gonna be blog post. So I'm gonna create another type here and we'll call it 
blog post. And for this one, I am going to add some additional properties here. So you can see description will be on this one as well. You'll notice here also that we can create a reference to other types of cards. So you can see that campaign and content item, campaign strategy, these all show up on the list here. So I could create a reference to something else as well. The last type that I need to create is a YouTube thumbnail. So this is going to be derived from the file type. Files are a special type created by the system because it has a special file upload area. I'm going to go ahead and add YouTube thumbnail to the file type, and I'm not going to add any additional attributes, so we'll just leave it like this. So let's look at the tags that we'll put on our content item type. So we'll go back in here. This is content item. So again, this is any kind of content that uh, we're going to be creating. Tags are a little bit different from types because you can add multiple tags to a single type. And tags are a way to add some additional attributes to, uh, to a type. So I'm going to add tags here. And I have three that I'm going to, going to add. LinkedIn post, X post, and YouTube video. Now these are each going to have their own unique attributes format. And then I need to go in and add it here formats. I might add more later, but we'll start with these. Then X, we do sometimes run paid ads. So I'm going to add a checkbox uh, property for paid. So that will be a yes if it's a paid post. Before we get into setting up our cards, we need to set up relations between the types that we just created. So relations define the relationships between uh, cards of two different types. First, we need to go to our campaign type. So I'm going to find it over here, campaign. And we're going to start with a relationship between a campaign strategy and a campaign. So we'll go down here to relations and click the plus button. Here we can establish the nature of the relationship. First, we can set the type one to one. So only one campaign and one campaign strategy are going to go together. Select um, what we're creating the relationship to over here. So we're going to select document and then campaign strategy. Campaign strategy defines a campaign and a, a campaign is associated with a campaign strategy. And we'll see how that looks on the card side um, and it'll make a lot more sense. One more relation to set up is the relationship between a campaign and a content item. This is going to be end to end because campaign can include many campaign items and a campaign item could be involved in many campaigns. Looted in and includes. So here we can see that the relation that we just set up is actually also included on the content item side because it's a relation between the two of them. So sometimes you might have a content item like a LinkedIn post, X post, or even a YouTube video that links to a blog post. So we can set this up through a relation. So document, blog post. Now that we have all of our relations set up, we can go ahead and start creating our cards. Here you'll see all of the types that we just created. So let's go ahead and start by defining a campaign strategy card. So this campaign strategy is actually going to be um, an example using what we're doing right now, which is the release of the cards feature. So we'll just call the strategy cards feature release strategy. Here I'm actually just going to paste in some dummy data here. And here we can see that this relation down here, this is where we set up the relation between a uh, campaign strategy and a campaign. But first, we need to create the campaign card. Here I've pasted in some more dummy data, and now we can see that campaign strategy, this relation is here as well, and we also have our content item relation. So this one we can set up right now. We'll click Add Relation here, and we can choose the uh, strategy that we just created. So I'll add this here, and now the two cards are linked. So if I go back to campaign strategy, I can find this here, cards feature release strategy. I'm going to click on that, scroll down, and here I can see cards release campaign from this end as well. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create some content items. So here we can see that all of these properties are on the content item uh, type that we created, but I can also add a tag. So let's say I want to create a Twitter post or an X post. When I add this tag here, it gets added down here and I can also now see the additional attributes that I added for X posts only. 
If I wanted this post to also be a LinkedIn post, I could add both tags here. And now I have access to all of these different attributes that I can just go ahead and add in. In this case, I'm just going to do an X post. So I'll click out of this. Now here's the reference that we set up for the creator. So I'm going to click on this and I can see all of the people in my workspace. Right now it's just me and our AI assistant. So I'll click myself here. Um, this one's going to be actually text and image, and it's not going to be paid. This is just a simple post. Now you can see I have this attachments area down here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop a file that I'm going to attach. Here we can see the image that I've attached here. So that's going to go along with the post. And you can also see that I can add it to a campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and add relation and choose the campaign that we just created. So now I can see um, where what kinds of campaigns this card is included in. Now we can see um, on the campaign, this will look a little bit more helpful here because we can see the title. Okay, now that I've just created the YouTube video, let's go ahead and add the thumbnail. So I'm gonna click in here and click create card. So because this is a type that's derived from the file type, we already have this um, designated file drop area here. So the main difference between this and the attachments area down here is that once I upload a file here, it actually can't be changed. So this is a great way to store um, permanent files or things that you wanna have some kind of uh, discussion around. It's worth mentioning here that children cards can also be a way to attach cards to each other. So you can use child cards to have different versions of something that you're collaborating on. But for our purposes, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in a thumbnail here. I actually haven't created the thumbnail for this video yet. So I'm gonna drop in an old one just to demonstrate. And you can see that the file appears here. I'm gonna go ahead down here and add in the relation to this um, YouTube video content item that we created. So here we can see this is for a YouTube video and this is the card that we just created. As you can see, the card system in Huli is super powerful. There's so many things you can do with cards and this is only just the beginning. Also, cards are the foundation for so many other features that we're working on building, including processes. Once we have processes added um, on top of this cards infrastructure, I can actually build out different kinds of content management workflows uh, right on top of the content that I've already created. So for example, I could build out a process um, with my team where maybe one person creates a draft of a content piece, someone else is going to review it and edit it, somebody else might create the copy for it, and we can create this kind of workflow around these different um, different types of knowledge or information, and it's all going to be built within the same system. Right now, you can go ahead and try out cards, get yourself started, play around with it, take a look at everything that you can do with it, uh, and just have fun exploring. If you have any questions, we are happy to answer them. We really want to get you off on the right foot with this one, and you can keep an eye out for more videos like this one that dive deeper into some of the other things that you can do with cards already in Huli. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.